This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News. We're at the 2012 Mobile World Congress show. We just attended the LTE uh, forum that was hosted by OpenWave and Juniper. Uh, we have Chris Goswami who's with us today. Uh, Chris, talk a little bit about why um, OpenWave sponsored this event. Uh, fundamentally, I think what we're seeing with LTE networks is uh, people are, were now laying the groundwork for new data services and in fact a new type of mobile internet. So for example, you've seen the stats on video usage and you know, more than half the traffic in the world now is video. Video is more than everything else put together. That will only increase. Uh, but it's not just about, it is about speeds and volumes, but it's not just about that. Fundamentally, uh, the way people are using data services is changing. So for example, um, there's been a 14x increase in user upload traffic and some people say we're headed towards a symmetrical internet for example where upload people are publishing as much as they are consuming so this requires different thinking in terms of how operators optimize networks and how they extract data. The analysts and the operators were talking about pricing plans in your mind's eye what were some of the key takeaways from today's panel? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, as uh, often happens, this panel went kind of in a few directions. So a lot of discussion about over the top and how come Apple are getting rich and we're not, uh, Wi-Fi offload. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people talked about pricing. Uh, tiered pricing came up, um, not really solving the problem. Um, I think the issue that we kept coming back to, though, is really how do we get users using data services? How do we monetize the services in the new order with LTE mobile broadband? You've heard of dump pipes, you've heard of smart grids, now we're talking super pipes. Um, when you look at some of the pricing plans and some of the uh, solutions that, uh, that OpenWave offers, uh, what are you doing to encourage those uh, pipes to deliver uh, smarter solutions and ultimately drive additional cash flow for carriers? Okay, so, so just a comment on the first thing. So uh, Dean Bubbly from um, Disruptive uh, Reading, I think it is, uh, said recently, whoever invented the phrase dump pipes probably cost the industry a trillion dollars because these operated pipes are um, expensive, they are super clever and they're incredibly valuable. Problem is, what are we doing with them, right? So then to come to the second part of your question, how do we actually get users using data services? Well, the way OpenWave looks at this is kind of a, a two-part problem and the two parts are related. Uh, users will pay for content that they value. Uh, first problem is Nobody really understands how they're paying. So if I say to you, hey, you know, you've got 385 megabytes left this month, Jeff, what does that mean? You know, I, I don't really know what that means, and I work in the industry. And if we're talking about using Skype on a mobile, messaging over IP, voice over IP, I have no idea what a megabyte even means. And then the second problem which follows from that is, well, if users don't even understand how they're paying, it's like, you, it's like you're asking them to pay in a foreign currency, they're not encouraged to discover more content and use more data services. So the way OpenWave is uh, coming, uh, coming to that problem, we uh, have our solution price plan around price plan innovation, which uh, fundamentally, or systematically rather, dismantles both of those problems. So the first one, where users simply don't understand data charging, we brought to the market uh, a gauge, a fuel gauge, a meter. It's very simple, you look at your meter, Green means I'm fine, I've got plenty of fuel in the tank, I can carry on sending, receiving, browsing, downloading, etc. Orange, I've got to watch out. Red, hey, I'd better, better look to topping up. But more than that, uh, what we're actually doing is we're actually, uh, we've actually gauged that meter, not in megabytes, because, you know, who understands that, but in things people understand. So hours, so I could say, hey, Jeff, rather than you've got 385 megabytes left, you've got six hours left to browse the internet this month. You understand hours, I understand hours. Or you've got 500 more uh, uploads to Flickr this month. Or, you know, pay 99 uh, euro cents, and you can have free access or unmetered access to BBC News this month. So people understand time, events, and services. So the gauge measures and, and reports in those terms that people understand. <laughs>